Hello everyone and welcome back to Code Stars. Today we're going to be discussing Resident Evil 4 Remake and how it should be remade if the rumours are true that is. Of course it's all speculation at the moment, we know that. Nothing has been confirmed as of yet. But this is just a video talking about if the Resident Evil 4 Remake is in development, how it should be remade, what they could change, what they could add, what they could do to the remake that could potentially make it better than the original. I personally think there is room for improvement. Resident Evil 4, don't get me wrong, is a great game and it's definitely one of the best, one of the most fun out of all of them and I mean that says a lot considering its age you know but there is definitely room for improvement and we're just going to be talking about sort of how they could improve stuff yeah for me personally resident evil 4 isn't only one of the most enjoyable resident evil games but one of the most enjoyable games of all time so with that being said let's start with one thing that can be improved upon that being the story So the story for Resident Evil 4 is pretty decent, but honestly, it does take a backseat to the gameplay. A lot of people are fine with that, but I don't think you need to cut one for the other. I don't think you need just interesting gameplay or fun gameplay and no story or fun story and not interesting gameplay. Like if you look at Resident Evil 2 Remake, for example, amazing gameplay, amazing engine and amazing story. Of course, it has its problems, but it did expand on a lot of things in the original RE2 and improved on them. So if they were to use Resident Evil 2 Remake as like a foundation for this game, where it's basically both fun gameplay and an interesting story, I think that would be a good start for this game. I think things as simple as adding more notes to the game would be interesting. Some environmental storytelling as well. Stuff that really stood out in the classic Resident Evil games. They have notes in Resident Evil 4, but they're not really interesting. A lot of them are forgettable. A lot of them don't go into too much detail. They just used to be a lot more compelling. So I think if you used to add that, something as small as that to Resident Evil 4 Remake, it could definitely improve upon the story. Maybe even expand upon some of the characters you meet in the game. So characters like Louise, for example, we know very little about him. A lot of that gets lost. It's, it's in notes. It's not really told to you directly maybe through cutscenes or something like that or, or a section you can play as Louise would be uh, would be pretty cool Ashley's another one where she doesn't really do much for the whole game I know she's she's a young girl and she's completely out of her element and scared but just even adding dialogue between her and Leon throughout the game while you're traveling with her would add to her character and would add to her personality and just give her a bit more depth small things like that I think are things that go unnoticed in older Resident Evil games but they definitely add to them yeah I completely agree with that Ashley as a character in Resident Evil 4 like you said she's meant to be just a scared girl I would like to see her develop throughout the game she starts off scared maybe half through the game she gets a weapon or something i don't know i'd like to see a change with that character and you could go back and forth on the dialogue throughout the game between her and leon i feel like it would make you care for her much more as well because in Resident Evil 4 she's just annoying let's be real here her screaming leon it just does your head in so i would like to see her develop maybe start off like that and then gradually throughout the game she starts to change I think I would like that. I would like, not for her to turn into like a superhero, but for her to get some development. Have her help Leon in certain situations. Maybe you can strategically take out enemies with her rather than just tell her to wait and follow and hide. That'd be pretty cool. Yeah, and this isn't limited to just Louise and, and Ashley, for example. Characters like Krauser as well can definitely be more fleshed out. You've got to remember when Resident Evil 4 came out, we had no context as to the relationship between Krauser and Leon. We only got that in the Dark Side Chronicles years after. So just even adding a little bit of that, a little bit of back and forth between the two throughout the game, it adds something that was missing in the original. These may seem like small things, but I think they really will add to the story of Resident Evil 4 Remake. So overall, what we think they should do is just have a more fleshed out, compelling story, added personalities and depth to these characters that we've met in Resident Evil 4, and for the story to not take a backseat to the gameplay. Not only would we have amazing gameplay, we would also have amazing story as well. So another thing we think Resident Evil 4 Remake could improve on is something that is very divisive in the Resident Evil community, and that is regarding the amount of action in the game. Now don't get me wrong, I love the action in Resident Evil 4 and I'm not saying that they should go for a, a strictly survival horror route with Resident Evil 4. I don't want that. I want them to maintain the fun gameplay that Resident Evil 4 had but sprinkle some survival horror into that. Sprinkle some horror elements to that. There is so many opportunities where Resident Evil 4 could be terrifying. The castle, the whole atmosphere of that. Look what they've done with Village. It'd be something similar to that. Look how creepy and eerie the environment is. And that's just one of many locations. Let's not get started with Garadors and Regenerators and stuff like that. Regenerators still to this day are genuinely one of the creepiest parts of any Resident Evil game but I feel like they didn't capitalise on that I feel like there is so much more potential with moments like that in the game and the same goes for Garadors in Resident Evil 4 everything's just too bright and I kind of get why the engine and the times you know they weren't really able to do too much with that they're kind of limited but I feel like yeah if they're gonna improve upon this they can have such great creepy iconic moments like the village at the start 
of the game. When it gets dark, you have to use your flashlight or a torch. And I thought like that could make for some really, really scary moments. With enemies sneaking up on you and the sound design too, that could go into that. Where you have to really listen out because you never know who's going to approach you with an axe. Yeah, I definitely agree. And including other things like Leon, for example, he's just a bit too over the top in Resident Evil 4. I don't mind some of it. Of course, it's Resident Evil after all. We're not asking for like a, like a Last of Us sort of situation where everything's so realistic. We don't want that at all. But more so like how Leon is in Resident Evil 2 Remake where you, you feel like he could get hurt. You don't feel like he's Superman. You know what I mean? Like with the modern Resident Evil formula, every single protagonist just seems too overpowered to the point where anything that is put in their way, it doesn't feel like a challenge. It feels like the protagonist is the boss. I want there to be some fear for the character. Like something could happen to Leon. Like Leon could be hurt. I essentially just want it to be more grounded. Much like, as I mentioned before, how Leon is in Resident Evil 2 Remake versus how he is in Resident Evil 2 Original. You see how scared he is. He's just a rookie cop. He's constantly trying to reassure himself while walking down dark corridors of the RPD, telling himself he can do this you never got any of that in resident evil 2 and i know of course hardware issues and stuff like that they're very limited back in the day but it's just an example like you could definitely add more personality to the character that way and keep him grounded at the same time yeah he can still be the same leon we all know and love he can still be a trained badass but it doesn't have to feel like he's superhuman a bit like jill in Resident Evil 3. That was perfect, I think. You can dodge and stuff. And Carlos too, I suppose. But you know, with Leon, as we know in recent times, Resident Evil 6 especially, he's untouchable. Yeah, I mean, how can you have any sort of fear for a character that survives a plane crash, a helicopter crash, a bus falling off a cliff, all in the same game, you know what I mean? I think it's just a bit overkill. Not that Resident Evil 4 has anything to those extreme lengths, but you get what we're saying. Last of all, what I want to mention with the toned down action section of this video is the island. I think the island is the worst part of Resident Evil 4. I think it's the most annoying part of Resident Evil 4. I feel like it doesn't do anything if they're just throwing waves of enemies at you just to drag that section of the game out there's far too many ganados with ranged weapons and stuff like that it just feels too over the top i think that whole section should be revamped honestly there's not one part of that last section that i actually enjoy personally when i get to that point in the game i'm not gonna lie i always i just feel like running through it yeah i get what you mean i don't enjoy the atmosphere i don't enjoy sort of anything about that section of the game it's the exact same feeling i have with resident evil 5 the last section of that it's very similar where they just throw heaps and heaps of enemies at you just for no reason and it, it just becomes an annoyance and you look back at it as just an annoying part of the game and whenever you get to it you know i've been playing resident evil 4 since it was released and every single time i get to that part of the game i just want to run through it i don't want to take my time with that part of the game i just want to run through it the only good part of that game is the soundtrack and that's the only thing i can't fault the soundtrack at that part of the game is phenomenal but i do honestly think most would agree when i say that the island is the worst part of resident evil 4 Resident Evil games are known for their exploring. Go from point A to B to C, back to A and then to D. Or even in the case of Resident Evil 7 and Village, when there's one small location that you can explore to gain a lot of lore from those areas, they're all things that most fans love about Resident Evil games. So that brings us into our next topic, exploration. With Resident Evil 4, exploration isn't really a thing. It's a very linear game. You go from point A to B to C to D and so on. It's very much like that. And what holds your attention throughout the game is the gameplay. The game is very fun. So a lot of the time you're not wanting to explore. You're not really bothered about exploring. The areas look nice and the map design is nice in Resident Evil 4. Don't get me wrong. But there is no exploration. And I think that's something they could fix in Resident Evil 4. In Resident Evil 4, there is a lot of filler. Throughout each section of the game, there is a lot of stuff, a lot of moments in the game that don't really need to be there. don't really hold any purpose but as i mentioned what makes them fun and interesting and what keeps your attention is the gameplay it's just a very fun game to play so you're not really focusing on that so i think a lot of those filler moments can be cut down to size by just adding big open areas that you can explore very much like village and resident evil 7 like i said where you have one area like the baker house for example to explore all of it and then you move on to the old house or in village where you have the whole castle to explore and then you move on to moreau or whatever the case may be just big open areas that you can explore with nice environmental storytelling notes a lot of characters to stuff that you really remember stuff that is engraved in your brain stuff that 10 years down the line you will still remember like the rpd hall or like the main hall in the spencer mansion yes yeah, so that way you get amazing fun gameplay and you also get these iconic locations and rooms that you remember like in resident Evil village for example the castle is one of my favorite parts of the game it just looks incredible i remember every room the atmosphere is on point and i feel like re4 can take advantage of that we didn't get too much of it in Village, the castle was over too fast. Whereas in Resident Evil 4, the castle's a big section of the game. There's so much of the castle. So I feel like they really can take advantage of that. Yeah, they could make the castle even more iconic than it already is. An area I'd really like to explore that we didn't get too much of in Resident Evil 4, you just sort of run through it, was the sewers. I think they had some of the creepiest enemies as well. The Novista doors were creepy. You know, those invisible bugs. Not only were they terrifying, you couldn't see where they were. They could come out of nowhere and there were so many of them. The soundtrack is intense and eerie throughout that whole section, throughout the whole sewer section. 
section and it's one of my favorite tracks of the whole game but we didn't spend too much time there at all i can imagine the amount of story they could add to a section like that and how they could expand on it and i find that's the case with the regenerator section in resident Evil 4 as well a lot of the horror sections go by really fast and they're personally my favorite so of course this is going to be all up to preference a lot of people are just going to want you know full-on action and want it to stay the same whereas me and david are massive fans of the horror of resident evil and the story so yeah just certain moments like that where i feel like exploration would really do the game justice and there's just so much you could add two moments like that of the game that we didn't get in the original so yeah those are three main things that we think they could change to make the game even better than the original for me and david personally i think stuff like separate ways and the mercenaries should stay the same you could even add to them like mercenaries you don't really unlock much apart from like the hand cannon if you get five star rankings on all maps of all characters but maybe it's stuff like costumes and maybe for more characters or extra guns just you know you can even add to stuff like that resident evil 4 is a fantastic game and it changed the way resident evil was forever and also it shaped a lot of other games in the gaming industry but it definitely did have its faults and it has aged well but it could definitely be improved on like can you imagine resident evil 4 in the re engine it'd be fantastic Tell us how you think Resident Evil 4 should be remade, what you would add, what you would take away, what you liked about the original, what you didn't like about the original. Leave all your thoughts down below in the comments, I'd love to discuss with you, and stay tuned for more content coming very very soon. So we hope you enjoyed this video, and as always, cheers for watching.